Hello guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So this is the ultimate tip guide for Clash Royale. I'm gonna basically be going over everything you need to know about a game, the game, um, and a, a bunch of tips for you guys. When you first start out a new game like this, it's very hard to get to know it, and this video will just uh, power you ahead very fast. So first, we're gonna open this mythical chest. I'll talk more about the chest later. We got a bunch of gold, we got some skeletons, we got some goblins. We got a minion cards. I'll explain the cards later. We got some spears. We got huts, giants. Oh yeah, epic card. Okay, so let's get started. So this whole game is based around getting chests to build to get cards and gold, then using the cards to upgrade your characters or your troops, and then using the gold to finalize the upgrade. Every time you get a card, it will have like zero. So this is one out of twenty. This bomber. And I will need 19 more cards to unlock the upgrade. And then once I unlock the upgrade, it's going to be like this green. And then I'll need to pay $50 or it keeps going up. And that will get me the final upgrade. We'll hit upgrade. And then it will go up to the next level. So next time it's going to be four. Four cards to upgrade it. And we got hit points. We got spear goblin level plus one. And basically when I use this in battle, it's going to be a tiny bit stronger. Every time you level up, you'll get King's health points and your tower points. I accidentally just clicked out of that. Um, you're, and I'll, I'll explain that later also. Okay, so your battle deck is a set of 8 cards that it'll, it'll it will randomly go through when you're in battle. And those are the troops that you're allowed to use. If you want to put a new card into the battle, you just hit this, you could hit use. And then you could just replace it like that. So far, I'm liking these set of cards, so I'm probably not going to change them. I'm not going to be going over each troop and what each troop does, but we're just going to go over some basics. There's some aerial attacks, there's a fireball, and there's some arrows I could use. Those are just placing arrows down. There's huts, and huts will generate goblins in this case, or skeletons in this case. You'll place the hut down, then it'll generate one troop every second or so. And then all the other troops just have special abilities, you'll have to get to know these, I might make a special troop ability episode soon. And then there's flying troops, which is the minion, and then there's also uh, the dog or dragon, the baby dragon. Okay, so there's this menu also, this is like the buying menu, where you could buy stuff. So, as you see here, instead of waiting, okay, so I don't have this card right here, this baby dragon, this baby dragon card. Now, if I want to give that baby dragon card, there's only two ways I can get it. One, I could keep unlocking these or keep buying those and now I have to wear it for three hours for that to finish. I could keep waiting for those and hope I could get one eventually. Or, I could hit this and then I could buy this. And I could only buy 10 of them. But this one costs $2,000 and I have nowhere near $2,000 at my coin amount. But let's say we want a minion, just for example. I could go like this, I could buy a minion, now I have 10 minion cards, and I could go into my minion level, oops, I don't want to use it, and then I could upgrade my minion, then we'll hit upgrade, we upgraded him, and we could upgrade him, maybe again, no, I have 6 out of 10 cards now, so I could keep buying them and keep uh, upgrading them, and those, I, I believe these card sets, the new cards will appear every day, so every day it will, it will like, random through a new set of cards, so there's a common card, there's a rare card, and then there's an epic card. These are treasure chests. You'll get a new treasure chest every time you defeat someone in battle. I don't know if you'll get one for losing. I'm pretty sure you get one for defeating them, and it might just be random. I haven't experimented too much with it because I have a full deck of treasure chests, and I was just saving mine up. Okay, so each treasure chest, you normally you wouldn't want to buy them, and I wouldn't buy them if I were you. But you could also buy them with the gems and like the mythical one is 400, golden is 80, silver is 30. This is just gems you could buy. Then you could also buy gold out of gems. So I could buy a thousand gold right now and that would be kind of nice but I'm not going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the battle screen looks like. We're just going to hit battle. You're going to be paired up with a random opponent. After the tutorial, you'll be out of the uh, training mode. So I'm challenging this guy. His name is King Z or yeah, King Z. So basically, this is my elixir bar at the bottom. I'm going to get one new elixir every second. There's no way you could upgrade that to get more. So what I'm going to do first is place a giant. Then I'm going to be placing a hut. The hut basically generates one goblin every second. And now he placed a, 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 a giant. So I need to combat that. So I'm going to place a P.E.K.K.A. And that's going to help combat that. So the goal is to take out the king in the back. Right there. There's no really no way I could point to it. And as soon as you take down the king, you automatically win the battle. 
kind of like the HQ in Boom Beach. But you only have three minutes, so you need to try to defeat as many crowns as possible. Each building that you destroy, so there's three buildings, you'll get one crown. So the total amount of buildings that you can have are three crowns, and if you get all three crowns first, you'll win. Uh, but normally you wouldn't want to take them all out, uh, and whoever has more crowns at the end of the battle wins. So, this guy's placing a giant here, so I need to combat that. No, you don't try to like rush him and don't place like a fireball on his HQ, I mean his uh, king or something like that because that's pretty much pointless. That's not going to be doing anything for you. So I'm using a goblin and skeleton hut strategy where I'm just placing a bunch of them. And we're going to place this fireball, that was kind of a waste, I, I wanted to place the bomber instead. But yes, the bomber is a good combat against a skeleton group. Now I just want to tell you guys that I'm not like a pro at this game. I just started playing it, so I'm kind of like a noob, just to let you know. So I have a big clump there, and he could easily take that out with like a fireball, and that's what he should do. Or Valkyrie. Valkyries will do splash damage. Anything that does splash damage is a good idea. So yes, I'm just going to keep placing huts down and keep generating new, new troops. And there's only one minute left, and at the one minute countdown, you'll get times two elixir, and it's going to help people like really... It's gonna, and I placed that musketeer way too close. I am really bad at this game, guys, as you guys can tell. So, yes, they all focused on the giant, which is good and also bad because now the Pekka can easily kill me off. So, now we're gonna try rushing him. He used the lightning ability, but that was kind of pointless. And now we are, yeah, we're rushing him now. So, we placed a skeleton trap, we placed a giant. Giants will ignore all troops, so that's a good building to have. You should always have a giant in your deck. They'll ignore all troops and just go straight for the HQ, I mean the crown building. So, that is good, guys. That is amazingly good. So, what we're going to do is we're going to place a bomb there. It's almost down. If we could take that building down, yes. And he took one of mine down also. So, we're going to be going into overtime. Overtime is one minute extra that we both have. And it's basic, okay, yeah, it's like sudden death. So, whoever gets the next point will win the battle. I have maxed out energy. I wasn't looking at my energy. Your energy maxes out at 10. As far as right now, there's no way you could upgrade it. But I, I think they, are, they might do that eventually. It just seems kind of like a logical choice. Um, we're going to place a fireball on that little building back there. That was kind of pointless, but we're probably just going to get a tie. If you still have matching crowns at the end... It's just going to be a tie. So he's going to come into my base. I'm going to place a trap down there. And that's going to help distract. We're going to drop a bomber. And that bomber's going to... I was hoping to target the archers instead. But as you can see, that giant on the bottom is getting slaughtered. He's not able to go anywhere. And it looks like we're going to be going... Um, we're going to be tying here. So it kind of stinks. But it's also okay at the same time. Usually you don't want to tie. But it happens eventually. And I kind of wanted to tie so i could kind of show you what it looks like so there you go i get one crown he gets one crown this is a chat button you could give emoji or something or you could give uh whatever a text and you can't scroll over those are pre-made also you can't make a custom one and then you'll hit b here and you go back home now there's different arenas also um that's a training camp you could go back to training camp challenge the opponent not not uh not a player opponent but a computer opponent this is your achievement bar you're going to get different achievements, and you'll get uh, gems out of that. This is your arena. So if you have 80, I mean, if you have, if this is the training camp. This training camp will unlock all of these. So if you want one of these buildings, you should play the, tr if you want, yeah, if you want one of these, you should play the training camp. Um, this is the Goblin Stadium. If you want one of these, you have to play the Goblin Stadium. I believe, I believe, I believe that it could have changed. Um, this is the Bone Pit. 400 medals or trophies and up and then 800 1100 spell factor you get the wizard and it just keeps going up from there i don't think anyone is 1700 yet so it's gonna be a while since that happens actually i'm wrong there's a guy who's 1700 so this is the you hit the trophy this is the top people on the, on the trophy board and uh, it goes down to like 200 at the bottom. That's global. You could go into local and see where you are ranked locally. Let's see if I'm on here. I'm, I'm probably not because I'm very, very bad. 
no I'm not but our clan is on here so I'll, I'll explain clans in a minute and how clans work um, yes we are like 63rd and if we go to local with number one on the Canada leaderboard which is pretty awesome guys it's pretty awesome okay so if we go into friends these are your friends you could view I think this is Jimmy for this exclusive that's reversal he's kind of high I bet he's on the top list uh, 1,300 yeah he's definitely on the top list um, this is your activity log just hit that little scroll thingy you could go back you could replay videos this is your inbox you could find out more about this um, and then you could also see this kicking message that Alfred gave he, uh, he sent a message out to all the people now we're going to this this is the this is the clan menu you could challenge your own friends against each other you could watch replays you could share replays um, and all friend matches will tell like the final score so you could see who won um, and we're just gonna start a friendly match just to see if anyone accepts it and a lot of people will accept it because this is a good clan and you might not be able to join you need be 400 medals or trophies and up and Jimmy's trying to push so I'm challenging King B here we're gonna try using the exact same strategy because it's a good defense strategy but we're first gonna save up our energy a little or our elixir and we're gonna drop this and we're gonna drop our musketeer and try to destroy a crown now a good strategy for you guys if you have one crown and the other opponent does not have any crowns don't try to like don't try to get another crown just try to defend unless he's like very close to getting another one and that was a bad idea placing the skeleton trap back there I should have placed something that was able to defend good um, but yes the musketeer is a very weak opponent and we were able to get a crown off him but he was able to get a crown off me which is very very bad because now we're one on one right now so if we destroy this crown in the back or that building in the back we'll be able to win the battle but it's going to be very hard to win the battle so i'm going to wait until he deploys something big but you never want to have your energy maxed out and i should have placed the pekka back further but i forgot it's just like not boom beach at all so i'm not used to the whole gameplay and stuff of it but yes minions are very bad against this strategy because minions i don't have like barely any like air troops the only air troop i have is the musketeer so we're gonna place the musketeer there she's going to be able to one shot the minions and run back we're gonna be placing a tombstone just to kind of distract a little and once a but once a troop is targeted onto a building they're not going to move on to another building they're going to stay targeted on that building until the building's gone kind of like kasha clans not like boom beach and there you go someone deploys an army like that just get a, one of those bomber guys and the bomber guys will own for you so yes we're going to save up a little okay we're going to drop our giant here his troop shouldn't go off course good it didn't drop some of those times two elixir we're not gonna focus on defense we're just gonna try to go offense gonna drop a tombstone to distract a little um and okay i'm gonna drop a goblin hut we do not want to lose this but we probably will lose this because this guy is really good um okay we're gonna drop a firebomb just to help take out the witch because the witches are <laughs> very very deadly okay we dropped a pekka but at the same time he dropped an army of skeletons so we're not gonna be able to do anything here i'm gonna save up and we're going to drop this we're gonna drop this last just dish last dish effort and hopefully we will be able to take down this we're gonna place a fireball and he is probably gonna beat me yes we got him first guys we beat this guy and that's like the first time I won a match against a, a friend in the task force. So yes, that was a good game. And then this final tab, you could just view top replays by top people. Um, I mean, it's very cool. You could view like what the top strategies are and stuff. I think that's a great feature that other games, uh, other Boom Beach and Clash of Clans games should have. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to be it. I didn't cover levels. As soon as you level 30, you're going to unlock clans. Which is very good. Try to get to level very ASAP because it's so much, it's so worth it. I didn't go over donating cards either. Um, I you could request you could request a card every eight hours, and you could donate cards. And these are your cards. I could donate. 
I could request like one certain type so I could request goblins and then people could donate their goblin cards to me. So I have four goblin cards, but someone requests like a goblin hut card. I don't have any of them, so I can't donate them. But if someone requests like a bomber, I have one. A uh, musketeer, I have one. A uh, fireball, I have one. A giant, I have eight. So anything else that I have zero of, I'm not going to be able to uh, give. So it would be nice if someone actually did that, like showed us and like requested but you can only request every eight hours you could also view who's all online at the same time so this is it guys our code is y99 which is an awesome code so yes guys i'm gonna go i hope you guys learned something from this video remember guys keep on clash ro royaling royal yeah bye